hello guys uh good day and welcome to another video another brand new video in this week so what we'll be doing today is uh traveling back slash duffel bag so i would say this is more of like a traveling bag that's what we'll be doing on this channel today and as you can see i already have my illustration here on the book if you guys can see it clearly let me read this up so the size we'll be doing is uh the main length of it please don't mind the one down here we'll be concentrating and focusing on the one at the top here so the length of the bag if you want to cut you cut 21 inch which is this one at the center by 14 and a half inch as you can see 14 and a half inch that's what you cut before you now shape it to the shape of the traveling bag so when you want to shape the top will be 15.2 so you shape here to the center you shape here to the center as well so the down as well the down will be 16.2 so you see the up is a little bit smaller than the down so that it will give you that shape you want that's from the front and the back panel so after you are done with that then we'll talk about the under no so if you want to cut the under now it will be from the side right under and side left which is which from where zip will start from up here to the other side is 8 inch as you can see the 8 inch you are seeing here and the under is going to be 10 inch the wideness of the under that's why i indicate the 10 inch here so if you calculate for you to get the side left the under and the side right you have to calculate you measure from this after you finish shaping your bag this way you measure from this particular side to the other side the same thing applicable to the zip so i said the wideness of the bottom is going to be 10 inch while the wideness of the top is going to be 8 inch as everything is indicated here so that is that so if you come to this side what the one i will be making today is going to be a plain bag without any uh, zip outside so the handle is going to be 20 inch so in between the handle is going to be seven and a half inch or you can put it the way you want so i'm putting seven and a half inch so that it will be able to withstand the load it wants to carry so that it will shift to the center as much so before you when you want to stitch your hand as well you want to attach your hands to the front and back panel you measure two inch then you start the sewing from there so i think that is all for the illustration of this particular one so what, what are we going to be needing for this uh, main project i have my material here already this is a material i'll be using for the duffel slash traveling bag this is core rub material if you go to your local, uh, local market or if you still go there as long as there are many texture and many design you can choose from so it is core rub material so apart from that i'll be needing my lining this is my lining here that's my lining so i be using my zip rope as well my zip rope is here and my zip head after the zip rope we have our zip head which are this particular one this is the particular zip head i'll be using so i have my taping rope as well which is the tiny one this is the taping rope i'm going to use this to tape the inside i will show you the process as well. then i have my main rope which i'm going to use for the handle to strap use it for the handle round so that it will be able to withstand more load so the difference between both as you can see this one the webbing this is also called webbing this is much thicker than this we use this for the inside of the bag to tape or maybe undo of a bag a, a backpack not a traveling bag so this is used to tape the inside why this is used for outside of a strap bag or a traveling bag so that is that so without no further ado let me proceed to the cutting and measurements i hope you guys stay and watch this video to the end make sure to subscribe to this channel when you subscribe click the notification bell so you guys you get notified each and every time i upload a new video like this video leave a comment in the comment section down below on what you think and what we can do next share this video with your friend and we shall see you as we continue so as you can see guys i finished measuring it so after when i measure from this particular side to the other side the bottom is giving me 34 inch so if i'm going to cut the bottom now it will be 34 inch by 10 the wideness is going to be 10 the way i explained to you at first then the top side with the zip will be sewn to is 29 and a half so it will be 29 and a half by 8 inch because the wideness is going to be 8 inch so the main measurement is not 29 and a half you have to add, add half inch to it for you to attach both together 
so it depends on you you can add one inch to it if you know your seam allowance is going to be half inch so my seam allowance is going to be quarter half inch you understand that's the reason why i add just half inch to it and the same thing applicable to this 34 by 10 i'm going to add half inch to it for me to attach both side on this part so next thing now is for me to cut the under and where the zip is going to be sewn to then place this on my lining and cut it out and we shall see you there make sure to subscribe to this channel like leave a comment click the notification bell so that you get notified leave a comment in the comment section below what you don't understand what i didn't talk about and you want me to talk about and we shall see so welcome back guys i'm trying to cut the hand as you can see this is what i measure for the hand this is a uh, 21 inch by 4 inch so then you fold it into four this way you fold it from the center just like I did then you fold it here I've started cutting so I want to show you guys how to shape the hand that's the reason why I'm showing you this so you keep this aside you make one after you make one then you place it on the other one and make the second one then you cut this because this is too thick we want our hand to be tiny a little bit so that it will be easier for it to cut to carry not to cut So this is how our hand is going to look like after you finish making it so this is our hand for the bag as you can see then you place it on the second one to cut it out so that's that then uh this particular this is one of the front panel i hope you guys are seeing it clearly as you can see i've shaped this side i've shaped one side and the other side so um and the way it is this way the way it is now this is the top and this is the bottom so the way i explained to you on the first part i've uh, cut out this particular place i measure it to the 16.2 the bottom is 16.2 the top is 15.2 so and i've shaped it so without uh for you to be able to cut out all the pattern you have to do this first so after i finish this i'll place it on the second one which is this i'll place it on the second one to cut out this as well so what you will do next now after you finish this particular one after you bring it out is for you to measure it so for you to get your bottom what your bottom is going to give you from the bottom right right from the right side left side and the bottom you have to measure from where you indicate it's going to stop on your illustration so that's what i want to do right away now i will measure it then know what my bottom is going to be and wideness and the top of the zip or the top of the bag as well so let me proceed to make that Here we have it guys i finished cutting everything with the lining as you can see uh this one it has the lining this is the lining under it i place it on it so here are the lining both for this is the bottom and this is the front the one the zip will be attached to so the lining is also there then this is the front panel and the back panel i've also cut the lining as you can see this is top lining so what i want to tell you guys before i start sewing it is uh when you after you finish cutting this lining the next thing for you is to indicate where you are going to put the hand and sew the hand to this particular front panel without the lining so the way i measure it try to indicate as well i indicate that this is top i don't know if you guys can see it as you okay you can see now i write up so this is up of the bag this is top of the bag so you indicate where the handle is going to be then you sew the hand to it without the lining before you start assembling the rest of it so please take note of that so that is it so we shall proceed to the sewing of the bag so without no further ado let's go
so guys here is it i fixed the two hand as you see as you can see the chalk the tailor chalk i use i measure the center as i talked earlier and you saw me when i was taping the hand so this is it i make the two then here as well i've joined the bottom to the zip part you join one side to it so there's a way i normally do my that you won't see the sewing from below as you can see the sewing is not there but the sewing the sewing is sewing outside so that's it so after you know this is more wider than the zip part so after you finish you make sure you shape it this way the way i shape it so that it will give it the uh duffel bag shape or the traveling bag shape so without no further ado the next thing now i want to talk about is you make a center you fold this bottom into two and indicate where the center is just as i've done on the uh, front panel and the back panel as well this is the center as you are seeing here where i place my hand let me turn the back so that you can see it clearly as you can see so when you want to sew you place the center of that on the center on on the center on this particular side then you start using your tape your taping uh webbing taping rope to tape it and sew it round that's how you are going to do it so i i'll put a link in the description or at the top on this side on this side here so that you can i've done a video on how to tape the inside of your bag so you should go and watch that so that you get used to it and let's proceed and assemble and finish up the bag teach to just hold it down then i pick my webbing and insert my webbing so that i can start sewing if your webbing is losing this way you trim the mouth make sure you trim the mouth then you insert it and start sewing ah uh, a quick tip for the beginners or the people that are just starting you can attach your lining to your main panel file first to every of your main panel first then the way it is like this you can first sew it first before attaching your taping but since i'm a professional on this i decide to as i said in the last video i decide to insert everything once together which is one two three four and this which is five you understand so that is it so you make sure you place it very well the way you want it to be so that it will you check the under as well people may be wondering how did i get to do this without knowing how it's going on the under but it's this sewing way uh practice make perfect the more you practice the better it becomes and there's a way if you put it you know here it's going to be at the bottom so it means you won't pass the sewing you will not go uh, beyond or outside of the webbing that is under so guys this is the progress so far as you can see one part so and here i said i will show you i've finished it i'm done with it and this is the other part as well so this is the outside well, you know this is how we make it first and this is the tape the way i tape everything this is where the meat back as you can see it's very neat it goes round that is how you tape your work it will give it a very neat job round and now um, it's time for me to proceed to the next one and attach the next one the way this is so we'll see you when I finish or I'm done with the bag. So guys, uh, we are almost done with the products. So this is just the, the finished part. The last part that needs to be finished. So after I finish this, so this is my taping. You cut it where you want it to stop. Make sure you align everything together if there's any excess you try to hold and cut it out because normally this doesn't happen so you hold the mouth then you line it and so when you get the reverse thing from the stitch
So after you finish this way, you try as much as possible to cross check all the work. If there's any place that the taping is not so down, but you know, I've said earlier that I'm used to this, I normally do it so there's no any error of that. So this is everything. So it's now left for us to turn. And this is our top. So we'll turn everything now and see how our bag is looking like. So guys, here you have the traveling bag, I've just finished turning everything, it's very wet, looking good, perfectly wet, all the place we saw, there's no error, there's no any mistake, so this is the traveling bag slash tofu bag, so uh, the way it is now, it may not give you the shape you want, it's okay, but when you put your stuff inside, it's going to bring out the normal shape, how it's supposed to look. So these are the hands, you can just carry it this way, this is the handle for you to carry it, you know, this is the handle. So guys, uh, this, that is it for this particular video, make sure to subscribe to this channel, when you subscribe click the notification bell so that you get notified each and every time we upload a new video or you'll be the first one to get notified, share this with your friends to help them the way i'm helping you guys here anybody you know that will be in need of this my channel to like start up and start making their own diy bag as well so uh leave a comment in the comment section down below on what you think on this particular project and how we can improve or what we can do next so and i will see you in the next one thank you for being here and peace